Daniel Harris, a young and ambitious diplomat, had spent years working his way up in the Galactic Coalition. Today, he was attending an important diplomatic summit on the planet Valoria, home to a powerful and mysterious alien empire. The summit was meant to strengthen ties between the Coalition and the Valorians, a race known for their advanced technology and majestic beauty. As Daniel mingled with delegates from various species, he couldn't help but notice the stunning alien princess standing at the center of the room. Her presence was magnetic, her emerald skin shimmering under the soft lights. She was Princess Thalia, the beloved daughter of Emperor Therion. When their eyes met, Daniel felt an inexplicable connection. He gathered his courage and approached her, bowing respectfully. Your Highness, it's an honor to meet you. I'm Daniel Harris, a diplomat from Earth. Princess Thalia smiled, her emerald eyes sparkling. The honor is mine, Daniel. I've heard much about your world. I hope we can learn from each other. Their conversation flowed naturally, and as the evening progressed, Daniel found himself drawn to Thalia's intelligence, kindness, and beauty. He could see the same interest reflected in her eyes. Little did he know this connection would set off a chain of events that would shake the Valorian Empire to its core. Over the next few days, Daniel and Thalia spent more time together, exploring Valoria and sharing stories about their worlds. Their bond grew stronger, and what started as a diplomatic connection quickly turned into something deeper. One evening, as they walked through the palace gardens, Thalia spoke softly. Daniel, I feel a connection with you that I've never felt with anyone else, but we must be cautious. My father is very protective, and our relationship could cause turmoil. Daniel took her hand, his heart pounding. I feel the same way, Thalia. I don't want to cause any trouble, but I can't ignore what I feel for you. They shared a tender moment, their hearts entwined. But as they returned to the palace, they were unaware that their growing affection had not gone unnoticed. In the shadows, an advisor to the emperor, General Korath, watched them with cold, calculating eyes. General Korath had long harbored ambitions of power and control. He saw the budding romance between Thalia and Daniel as a threat to his plans. If Thalia married a human, it could disrupt the delicate balance of power within the Empire and weaken Korath's influence. He approached Emperor Therian with feigned concern. Your Majesty, I must bring to your attention a matter of grave importance. Princess Thalia has been seen spending an unusual amount of time with the human diplomat. This could jeopardize our relations and the stability of our Empire. The Emperor frowned, his protective instincts triggered. I will speak with Thalia. We cannot General Korath's words echoed in Emperor Therian's mind as he summoned Princess Thalia to his chambers. The room was grand, with high ceilings and walls adorned with intricate tapestries depicting the history of the Valorian Empire. Thalia entered, her expression calm but curious. Father, you wish to see me? Emperor Therian's stern gaze met hers. Thalia, I have heard troubling reports about your relationship with the human diplomat, Daniel Harris. This must end immediately. Our duty to the Empire comes first. Thalia's heart sank, but she remained composed. Father, Daniel and I have found a connection that transcends our differences. Our relationship could strengthen the bond between our worlds. The Emperor's face softened slightly, but his voice remained firm. You are the future of this Empire, Thalia. Your actions carry weight. A union with a human could create unrest among our people and embolden those who seek to challenge our rule. Thalia nodded reluctantly. I understand, Father. She left his chambers with a heavy heart, knowing she had to find a way to balance her duty to the Empire and her love for Daniel. Meanwhile, General Korath watched from the shadows, pleased that his plan was beginning to take shape. Despite her father's orders, Thalia couldn't stay away from Daniel. They continued to meet in secret, their love growing stronger with each stolen moment. But the pressure from the Emperor and General Korath's constant surveillance made it increasingly difficult. One night, as they met in a secluded part of the palace gardens, Daniel spoke with determination. Thalia, we can't keep hiding like this. We need to confront your father and make him understand that our love doesn't have to threaten the Empire. Thalia hesitated, knowing the risks. It's not that simple, Daniel. 
My father is deeply set in his ways, and Korath is always watching, but I can't bear the thought of losing you. Daniel squeezed her hand reassuringly. We'll find a way. We just need to show your father that our relationship can bring strength, not weakness. Their moment was interrupted by the sound of footsteps. General Korath and a group of guards emerged from the shadows surrounding them. Korath sneered. Did you really think you could defy the Emperor's orders? Princess Thalia, you will return to your chambers. Daniel Harris, you are under arrest for attempting to destabilize the Empire. Daniel and Thalia looked at each other, their eyes filled with defiance and determination. As the guards advanced, Thalia stepped in front of Daniel, her voice strong and unwavering. Korath, you overstep your bounds. My relationship with Daniel is not a threat to the Empire. You are the one who seeks to undermine our unity. Korath's eyes narrowed. You are naive, Princess. Your actions have consequences. Guards, take him away. Daniel was seized by the guards and dragged away, while Thalia was escorted back to her chambers, her heart heavy with fear and anger. She knew they had to act quickly to stop Korath's plans and prove that their love could unite their worlds. Daniel was thrown into a dark, cold cell deep within the palace. As he sat in the darkness, he could only think of Thalia and their uncertain future. He knew he had to find a way to escape and prove their love was not a threat. Meanwhile, Thalia was confined to her chambers, her heart heavy with worry. She knew she had to act quickly if she wanted to save Daniel. Using her knowledge of the palace's secret passages, she slipped out of her room and made her way to the dungeons. When she reached Daniel's cell, he looked up, relief flooding his eyes. Thalia, how did you— She quickly unlocked the door. We don't have much time. We need to get out of here and find a way to prove to my father that our love can bring our worlds together, not tear them apart. With Thalia leading the way, they navigated the labyrinthine passages of the palace, evading guards and security systems. They finally emerged outside the palace walls, free but not safe. They needed allies, and they needed a plan. Thalia and Daniel knew they couldn't return to the palace without proof that their love could benefit the Empire. They decided to seek out the leaders of the Galactic Coalition, hoping to gain their support. They traveled in disguise, avoiding Valorian patrols and using Daniel's diplomatic connections to move through Coalition space. Along the way, they encountered both friends and foes, each challenge strengthening their bond. As they arrived at the Coalition's central headquarters, they were greeted by Ambassador Soren, a seasoned diplomat who had known Daniel for years. Daniel, Princess Thalia, what brings you here under such circumstances? Soren asked, his brow furrowed with concern. Daniel explained their situation, emphasizing the need for the Coalition's support. We need to show the Valorian Empire that our love can lead to a stronger alliance between our worlds. But we need your help to make that happen. Soren nodded thoughtfully. I believe in your cause, and I will do what I can to assist you. But this won't be easy. We'll need to gather influential leaders and present a united front. With Soren's help, Thalia and Daniel began meeting with key leaders of the Galactic Coalition. They explained their plight, highlighting the potential benefits of their union for interstellar relations and technological advancements. Thalia stood before them, her voice steady and determined. Our love is not a threat to the Valorian Empire. It is an opportunity for greater unity and cooperation between our worlds. We seek your support to convince my father, the Emperor, of this truth. The room buzzed with murmurs as the representatives considered her words. One by one, they began to speak in favor of their cause, recognizing the potential benefits of a strengthened alliance. A respected elder from the planet Illyria spoke up. If we can show the Emperor that this union will bring peace and prosperity, we may be able to change his mind. We must stand together. With the Coalition's support secured, Thalia and Daniel felt a renewed sense of hope. They knew the next step would be the most challenging, convincing Emperor Therion himself. Ambassador Soren arranged a meeting with key leaders of the Galactic Coalition. In a grand conference room, representatives from various planets gathered to hear Daniel and Thalia's plea. Thalia stood before them, her voice steady and determined. Our love is not a threat to the Valorian Empire. 
It is an opportunity for greater unity and cooperation between our worlds. We seek your support to convince my father, the Emperor, of this truth. The room buzzed with murmurs as the representatives considered her words. One by one they began to speak in favor of their cause, recognizing the potential benefits of a strengthened alliance. Elder Zarek, known for his wisdom and impartiality, asked a probing question. Princess Thalia, how can we be sure that this union will not weaken our empire's sovereignty? Thalia responded with confidence. Our union is not about weakening the empire but strengthening it through new alliances and shared knowledge. By embracing this change, we can lead the way in interstellar cooperation. Elder Leora, a respected leader, nodded in agreement. The Galactic Coalition's support is a significant endorsement. We must consider the potential benefits for our people. The Council deliberated for hours, weighing the pros and cons. Finally, Elder Zarek spoke. We have reached a decision. We will support the Union, provided that certain conditions are met to ensure the stability and prosperity of our Empire. Thalia and Daniel readily agreed to these conditions, understanding their importance in gaining the Council's support. They knew they had to present a strong case to Emperor Therion to overcome his reservations and General Korath's influence. Armed with the backing of the Galactic Coalition, Thalia and Daniel returned to Valoria, determined to face the Emperor and present their case. They arrived at the palace under a flag of truce, escorted by Coalition representatives. The palace was tense, with guards and officials eyeing them warily. General Korath, sensing a threat to his influence, watched their every move. Emperor Therion received them in the Grand Throne Room, his expression stern. Thalia, Daniel, you have defied my orders and brought outsiders into our midst. Explain yourselves. Thalia stepped forward, her voice unwavering. Father, we have come to show you that our love can bring our worlds together. The Galactic Coalition supports our union and believes it will lead to a stronger, more prosperous empire. Daniel added, your Majesty, our relationship is built on mutual respect and understanding. We believe that by working together, we can achieve great things for both our peoples. The Emperor listened, his expression unreadable. Finally he spoke. You have made your case. I will consider your words and the Coalition's support, but this decision is not mine alone. The Council of Elders must also be convinced. The Council of Elders, a group of wise and influential advisors, held great sway in the Valorian Empire. Their support was crucial to securing the Emperor's approval. Thalia and Daniel were summoned to present their case before the Council. The Elders, each representing different factions and interests within the Empire, listened intently as Thalia and Daniel spoke of their love and the potential benefits of their union. Elder Zarek once again posed a crucial question. Princess Thalia, how do you propose to integrate Valorian and human societies while maintaining our cultural integrity? Thalia responded with conviction. Through mutual respect and cultural exchange, we can learn from each other's strengths and build a foundation of trust and cooperation. Our union is a symbol of this potential. The Council deliberated for what felt like an eternity. Finally, Elder Leora announced their decision. We will support the union under the condition that a formal alliance agreement is established, outlining the terms of cooperation and mutual respect between our worlds. Emperor Therion, seeing the wisdom in the Council's decision, nodded in approval. Very well. If the Council supports this union and you are willing to meet their conditions, I will give my blessing. General Korath, realizing his plans were unraveling, could barely contain his frustration. He decided to take matters into his own hands, plotting to disrupt the Union and seize power for himself. As preparations for the Union ceremony began, General Korath set his plan into motion. He gathered a group of Loyalists intent on sabotaging the event and discrediting Thalia and Daniel. Korath's spies infiltrated the palace, spreading rumors and sowing discord among the guards and officials. On the day of the ceremony, they planted explosive devices around the palace, intending to create chaos and blame it on the human delegation. Thalia and Daniel, unaware of the imminent danger, continued with the preparations. They were joined by representatives from the Galactic Coalition, 
eager to witness the historic union. Korath watched from the shadows, his eyes gleaming with malice. Soon this alliance will crumble, and I will seize control, he muttered to himself. His loyalists stood ready to execute their orders at his command. The Grand Hall of the Valorian Palace was filled with dignitaries and guests from across the galaxy. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation as Thalia and Daniel stood before the assembled crowd, ready to declare their love and commitment. As the ceremony began, the tension in the room was palpable. Emperor Therian, standing beside the couple, spoke solemnly. Today we witness the union of Princess Thalia and Daniel Harris. This union represents a new era of cooperation and understanding between our worlds. Suddenly, a series of explosions rocked the palace. Panic ensued as guests and guards scrambled for safety. General Korath's plan had been set in motion, and chaos reigned. Thalia and Daniel were separated in the confusion, each fighting to find their way to safety. The palace guards, loyal to the emperor, worked quickly to contain the situation and protect the guests. As Daniel navigated through the debris, he encountered a group of Korath's loyalists. Realizing he was outnumbered, he grabbed a fallen guard's weapon and prepared to defend himself. Just as the loyalists advanced, a group of coalition soldiers arrived, providing much-needed reinforcement. Meanwhile, Thalia, using her knowledge of the palace, guided panicked guests to safety. She knew she had to find Daniel and ensure he was safe. Her heart pounded with fear and determination. Amidst the chaos, Emperor Therian ordered his elite guard to capture Korath. Find him and bring him to justice. He will not destroy what we have worked so hard to build. As the fighting continued, Thalia and Daniel finally reunited in the palace courtyard. Their relief was short-lived as they saw Korath and his loyalists advancing toward them, weapons drawn. Korath sneered. This ends now, human. You and your misguided love will be the downfall of this empire. Thalia stepped forward, her voice strong and unwavering. You are wrong, Korath. Our love is the foundation of a new era of peace and unity. You will not succeed. As the confrontation reached its climax, the elite guard stormed the courtyard, surrounding Korath and his men. With a swift and decisive strike, they subdued the traitors and secured the area. Emperor Tharion arrived, his presence commanding. Korath, you have betrayed your empire and your people. You will face the full consequences of your actions. Korath was taken away, his plans thwarted. Thalia and Daniel, though shaken, stood tall. The crisis had revealed the strength of their bond and the potential for their union to bring lasting change. The ceremony, though interrupted, resumed in a smaller, more intimate setting. Surrounded by close friends and allies, Thalia and Daniel exchanged vows, pledging their love and commitment to each other and their shared vision for the future. As they sealed their union with a kiss, the crowd erupted in applause, celebrating the dawn of a new era. The Valorian Empire and the Galactic Coalition were united, stronger together than they had ever been apart. With General Korath and his loyalists in custody, the Valorian Empire began the process of restoring order. The palace, though damaged, was quickly repaired, and the morale of the people began to rise as news of the thwarted coup spread. Korath and his men were brought to trial, facing charges of treason, attempted sabotage, and endangering the lives of dignitaries. The courtroom was packed with Valorians and representatives from the Galactic Coalition, all eager to see justice served. Emperor Tharion presided over the trial, his expression stern but fair. Korath stood defiantly, but the overwhelming evidence against him left little room for doubt. Witnesses testified to his plots and schemes, and the explosive devices found in the palace provided concrete proof of his intentions. The emperor addressed the court. General Korath, your actions have brought shame upon our empire and endangered the lives of countless innocents. You have betrayed the trust placed in you and sought to undermine the unity we strive to achieve. For your crimes, you will face the full extent of our laws. Korath was sentenced to life imprisonment, his influence and power stripped away. His loyalists received similar sentences, ensuring they could no longer threaten the peace and stability of the empire. With justice served, the focus shifted to reconciliation and healing. Thalia and Daniel took an active role in this process, 
working to mend the rifts caused by Korath's actions. They organized forums and discussions, inviting Valorians and coalition members to share their perspectives and ideas for the future. The rescheduled union ceremony took place in the Grand Hall of the Valorian Palace, this time with heightened security and an atmosphere of hope and celebration. Representatives from across the galaxy gathered once more to witness the historic event. Emperor Therian stood beside Thalia and Daniel, his expression one of pride and solemnity. Today we witness a union not just of two hearts, but of two worlds. This is a testament to the power of love and the potential for unity across the stars. Thalia and Daniel exchanged vows, their voices filled with emotion and conviction. I pledge my love and commitment to you, and together we will work towards a future of peace, understanding, and cooperation between our worlds, Daniel said, his eyes locked with Thalia's. Thalia smiled, her voice steady. I vow to stand by your side, to support and cherish you, and to dedicate myself to the unity and prosperity of our people. As they sealed their union with a kiss, the crowd erupted in applause. The grand hall was filled with cheers and the sound of music, celebrating the dawn of a new era. In the days following the ceremony, Thalia and Daniel set to work implementing the plans they had discussed with the Council of Elders and the Galactic Coalition. They established cultural exchange programs, encouraging Valorians and humans to learn from each other's traditions and values. Joint ventures in technology and science led to groundbreaking advancements, benefiting both societies. The alliance between Valoria and the Galactic Coalition flourished, bringing unprecedented prosperity and understanding. Thalia and Daniel traveled extensively, visiting different planets and fostering relationships with other species. Their union became a symbol of hope and unity, inspiring others to seek peace and collaboration. As Thalia and Daniel stood on the balcony of the palace, looking out over the bustling city below, they felt a deep sense of fulfillment. We have come so far, Daniel. Our love has brought our worlds together, Thalia said, her eyes shining with happiness. Daniel nodded, his heart full. And this is just the beginning. Together we can achieve so much more. With their hearts united and their vision clear, Thalia and Daniel looked to the stars, ready to embrace whatever the future held. Their story was far from over, and their legacy would inspire generations to come, a testament to the power of love and the limitless possibilities of the universe. In the months that followed the Union Ceremony, the alliance between Valoria and the Galactic Coalition grew stronger. Joint ventures in technology, culture, and diplomacy brought unprecedented advancements and understanding. Thalia and Daniel worked tirelessly to foster cooperation and goodwill, their love serving as a symbol of hope and unity. The integration of Valorian and human technologies led to breakthroughs in medicine, energy, and space exploration. Cultural exchange programs enriched both worlds, fostering mutual respect and appreciation. Scientists and scholars from Valoria and Earth collaborated on projects that pushed the boundaries of knowledge and innovation. One of the most significant achievements was the establishment of the Interstellar Research Institute, IRI, a collaborative center dedicated to exploring the mysteries of the universe and solving interstellar challenges. Thalia and Daniel were instrumental in its creation, and their efforts earned them admiration and respect from across the galaxy. Emperor Therion, now a firm supporter of the Alliance, reflected on the transformation. This union has brought great strength to our empire. We are no longer isolated but part of a greater whole. Together, we will achieve wonders. Despite the positive developments, challenges remained. Some factions within Valoria and the Galactic Coalition were still resistant to change, wary of the deepening integration. Thalia and Daniel knew they had to address these concerns and ensure the stability of their alliance. As Thalia and Daniel navigated their new roles, they encountered opposition from conservative factions within both societies. These groups feared that the rapid changes would erode their cultural identities and disrupt the balance of power. To address these concerns, Thalia and Daniel organized a series of public forums and dialogues. At one such forum on Valoria, Thalia addressed a gathering of influential leaders and citizens. We understand your concerns about preserving our cultural heritage. Our goal is not to replace our traditions, 
but to enrich them through mutual exchange. By embracing the best of both worlds, we can create a stronger, more resilient society. Daniel spoke next, emphasizing the practical benefits of their alliance. The advancements we've made together in technology, medicine, and science are just the beginning. By working together, we can tackle the greatest challenges facing our civilizations. This cooperation will ensure a brighter future for all of us. The forums were not without tension, but they succeeded in opening channels of communication and building trust. Gradually, the resistance began to soften as people saw the tangible benefits of the alliance. One evening, as Thalia and Daniel were reviewing their progress, a message arrived from Elder Zarek, one of the most respected members of the Valorian Council of Elders. He requested a private meeting to discuss the future of the Alliance. In the council chambers, Elder Zarek greeted them warmly. Princess Thalia, Daniel, your efforts have been commendable. You have shown great wisdom and strength in navigating these challenging times. Thalia inclined her head respectfully. Thank you, Elder Zarek. We are committed to ensuring the success of our Alliance and addressing any concerns that arise. Zarek nodded. There is a proposal I wish to discuss with you. To solidify our union and address the remaining doubts, I suggest we establish a joint council composed of representatives from both Valoria and the Galactic Coalition. This council will oversee our collaborative projects and ensure that all voices are heard. Daniel exchanged a glance with Thalia, then replied, That is an excellent idea, Elder Zarek. A joint council would provide a platform for dialogue and decision-making, fostering greater unity and understanding. With the establishment of the joint council, the alliance entered a new phase. The council facilitated cooperation and transparency, ensuring that all perspectives were considered in their endeavors. Thalia and Daniel continued to lead by example, demonstrating that their love and commitment could bridge any divide. As they stood together on the balcony of the palace, looking out at the stars, Thalia took Daniel's hand. We've overcome so much, Daniel. Our journey is far from over, but I know we can face whatever comes next. Daniel squeezed her hand gently. Together, Thalia, always together. Their hearts united and their vision clear, Thalia and Daniel embraced the future, ready to continue building a legacy of peace, cooperation, and love that would inspire generations to come. With the establishment of the Joint Council, Thalia and Daniel's vision for a united future began to take shape. The Council's first major project was the Interstellar Peace Mission, aimed at addressing conflicts and fostering diplomacy among different planets in the Galactic Coalition. This mission was crucial for solidifying the Alliance and demonstrating the power of unity. Thalia and Daniel were chosen to lead the mission, given their unique roles and the respect they had earned. They assembled a diverse team of diplomats, scientists, and military advisors from both Valoria and Earth. The mission's objective was to mediate ongoing disputes and propose innovative solutions for peace and cooperation. Their first destination was the planet Arian, known for its advanced technology, but also for its long-standing conflict with neighboring worlds over resource distribution. As they approached Arian, Thalia and Daniel prepared their strategy aware of the challenges that lay ahead. Upon landing, they were greeted by Arian's High Chancellor, a stern but wise leader named Eris. Welcome, Princess Thalia and Daniel Harris. Your reputation precedes you. We hope your presence here will help us find a path to peace. Thalia bowed respectfully. Thank you, High Chancellor Eris. We are here to listen, understand, and assist in any way we can. Daniel added, Our goal is to find a solution that benefits all parties involved. We believe that through cooperation and mutual respect, we can achieve lasting peace. The discussions were intense, with representatives from various factions voicing their grievances and demands. Thalia and Daniel facilitated the talks, encouraging open dialogue and compromise. They proposed a resource-sharing agreement that leveraged Valorian and Earth technologies to maximize efficiency and sustainability. After several days of negotiations, an agreement was reached. The factions agreed to the proposed plan, recognizing the benefits of collaboration. High Chancellor Aris expressed his gratitude. 
Your efforts have brought us closer to peace than we have been in decades. We are grateful for your wisdom and dedication. With their success on Arian, the interstellar peace mission gained momentum. Thalia and Daniel traveled to several other planets, each with its unique challenges and opportunities for diplomacy. The mission showcased the potential of their alliance, inspiring hope across the galaxy. However, their journey was not without danger. As they prepared to depart for their next destination, they received a distress signal from a remote mining colony on the planet Krylos. The colony was under attack by a rogue faction seeking to seize control of valuable resources. Thalia and Daniel immediately diverted their course, knowing they had to act quickly to prevent further bloodshed. Upon arrival, they were met with chaos and destruction. The rogue faction, heavily armed and determined, had overwhelmed the colony's defenses. Daniel rallied their team, coordinating with the colony's leaders and the Joint Council's military advisors. We need to secure the perimeter and evacuate the civilians. Our priority is to protect the innocent and restore order. Thalia, using her diplomatic skills, reached out to the rogue faction's leader, a ruthless warlord named Kragan. Kragan, this senseless violence will only lead to more suffering. Let's discuss your grievances and find a peaceful solution. Kragan sneered. Diplomacy. Your words mean nothing to me. Power is all that matters. Undeterred, Thalia continued. Violence will only bring destruction. We can negotiate a fair agreement that benefits everyone. But first, you must cease this attack. As Thalia negotiated, Daniel and the security team launched a coordinated effort to defend the colony. The battle was fierce but their combined forces managed to push back the rogue faction. Daniel led a daring raid to disable the enemy's command center, disrupting their operations and forcing them to retreat. Realizing his position was untenable, Kragan reluctantly agreed to a ceasefire. Thalia and Daniel worked tirelessly to mediate a truce, addressing the underlying issues that had led to the conflict. They proposed a resource-sharing agreement and offered technological support to improve the colony's defenses and sustainability. Kragan, though skeptical, saw the potential benefits. Perhaps there is more to your alliance than I thought. I will consider your terms. With the crisis averted and the colony stabilized, Thalia and Daniel reflected on their mission. They knew that their work was far from over, but each success brought them closer to their goal of a united and peaceful galaxy. As they prepared to depart Krylos, Daniel turned to Thalia. We've faced so much together, and yet, there's always more to do. Thalia nodded, her eyes filled with determination. We'll continue to fight for peace and unity. Together we can overcome any challenge. Their hearts united and their vision clear, Thalia and Daniel embraced the future, ready to continue their mission and inspire generations to come with their unwavering dedication to peace and cooperation. The success of the Interstellar Peace Mission brought Thalia and Daniel to the forefront of intergalactic diplomacy. Their efforts were celebrated across the galaxy, but not everyone was pleased with the new order. In the shadows, remnants of General Korath's loyalists plotted their revenge. As Thalia and Daniel prepared to address the Galactic Coalition Assembly, a prestigious gathering of leaders from allied planets, they received an urgent message. A trusted advisor, Counselor Varon requested a private meeting, claiming to have critical information about a potential threat to the assembly. Meeting in a secure chamber, Varon spoke in hushed tones. Princess Thalia Daniel, there are whispers of a conspiracy to undermine your mission. I have reason to believe that Korath's loyalists are planning an attack during the assembly. Daniel's eyes narrowed. Do you have any evidence, Counselor? Varon handed them a data chip. This contains intercepted communications and details about their plan. They intend to strike when you address the assembly, hoping to create chaos and discredit your leadership. Thalia and Daniel reviewed the data, their faces growing grim. Thalia turned to Varen. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. We need to act swiftly to prevent any harm. With the help of their allies, Thalia and Daniel devised a security plan to protect the assembly. They increased the number of guards, implemented advanced scanning technologies, and coordinated with the Coalition's security forces to ensure every delegate's safety. On the day of the assembly, tensions were high. Thalia and Daniel took the stage, 
aware of the danger, but determined to proceed. As Thalia began her speech, outlining their vision for continued peace and cooperation, the room filled with applause. However, amidst the crowd, a group of Korath's loyalists made their move. Disguised as delegates, they attempted to bypass security, but the heightened measures quickly exposed them. A scuffle ensued, and the loyalists drew concealed weapons. Before they could cause harm, coalition security forces and Thalia's personal guards intervened, apprehending the assailants. The assembly was momentarily thrown into chaos, but Thalia and Daniel remained calm. Daniel stepped forward, addressing the crowd. Today, we faced an attempt to disrupt our unity and sow discord. But our commitment to peace and cooperation remains unshaken. Thalia nodded, her voice strong and resolute. These actions only strengthen our resolve. We will continue to build a future where all worlds can thrive together. The delegates responded with a standing ovation, their support unwavering. The attempted attack had failed, and Thalia and Daniel's leadership had only been solidified. In the aftermath of the assembly, the captured loyalists were interrogated, revealing the extent of Korath's remaining network. With this information, Thalia and Daniel coordinated with the Galactic Coalition to dismantle the remnants of the conspiracy, ensuring lasting peace and stability. The Joint Council proposed a new initiative, the Interstellar Security Accord, a comprehensive framework to prevent future threats and promote interplanetary cooperation in maintaining peace. Thalia and Daniel were appointed as the lead architects of this initiative, their experience and dedication making them the ideal candidates. Months of negotiations, planning, and collaboration followed. The Interstellar Security Accord was designed to enhance communication, intelligence sharing, and rapid response capabilities among member planets. It included protocols for mediation, conflict resolution, and support for rebuilding efforts in war-torn regions. As the Accord took shape, Thalia and Daniel traveled across the galaxy, rallying support and ensuring its successful implementation. Their journey brought them to worlds they had never seen before, each with its unique challenges and opportunities for growth. One evening, as they stood on the balcony of their quarters on a distant planet, Thalia and Daniel reflected on their journey. The stars above seemed to shine brighter, symbolizing the new era they were helping to create. We've come so far, Thalia said, her voice filled with wonder. From the gardens of Valoria to the far reaches of the galaxy, our love and commitment have changed the course of history. Daniel nodded, taking her hand. And we have so much more to achieve. The Interstellar Security Accord is just the beginning. Our work will inspire future generations to continue striving for peace and unity. Their efforts culminated in a grand summit where the Interstellar Security Accord was officially signed by representatives from every member planet. The event was a celebration of unity, cooperation, and the promise of a brighter future. As Thalia and Daniel looked out at the assembled dignitaries, their hearts swelled with pride. They had faced countless challenges, but their love and dedication had prevailed. They had proven that even in the vastness of the galaxy, unity and understanding could overcome any obstacle. In the years that followed, the galaxy flourished under the principles of the Accord. Conflicts were resolved through diplomacy, technological advancements were shared for the common good, and cultures blended harmoniously. Thalia and Daniel's legacy lived on, inspiring new generations of leaders to uphold the values of peace and cooperation. Together, they had not only forged an unbreakable bond, but had also transformed the very fabric of the galaxy. Their story was a testament to the power of love and the limitless possibilities of the universe, a beacon of hope that would shine for all eternity.